Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, our lesson is focused on determining whether a function is linear or nonlinear. Our objectives today are that you, the student, will identify linear and nonlinear function from tables, equations, and graphs. The question I want you focused on today, what I want you asking yourself as you approach each and every problem, is what strategy can I use to determine whether a function is linear or not? Meaning, what do you know about linear functions and how can you use that strategy or skill to determine whether or not something you're looking at is linear? First, let's talk about the characteristics of a linear function. First, a linear function has a constant rate of change. That's your slope. Second, the graph of a linear function is a line, always a line, straight. You know, I always say straight line is kind of redundant because all lines are straight. The equation of a line can be written in the form y equals mx plus b. So algebraically we say if you can solve an equation for y, and it's written in this form, y equals the slope times x plus b, then it's the equation of a line. The key here is understanding that the exponent to x must be 1. So it's invisible, right? That x is x to the first. If it has any other exponent with the variable term, then it's not a linear function. So if you solve an equation for y, then it must be in this form, y equals mx plus b. Now let's talk about the characteristics of a nonlinear function. A nonlinear function does not have a constant rate of change. The graph of a nonlinear function is not a line. So you will see um, changes in direction. You will see curves. And we'll review some of this today. The equation of a nonlinear function will not ever be written in this form y equals mx plus b. So something about the equation will be off. The x will be in the denominator. The x will have an exponent other than 1. So right here, let's note these things. The variable may have an exponent greater than 1 or less than 1. It could have a negative exponent. If so, it's a nonlinear function. The variable may be in the denominator of a fraction. So 2 over x. If this happens, nonlinear function. There may be an absolute value expression in the equation. If this happens, nonlinear function. So if it's anything other than y equals something times x, or y equals something times x, a value, a constant times x, plus a value, it's nonlinear. You'll learn more about these types of functions in a future math class. Now, we're going to identify functions from tables. And I'm going to give you a hint here because this is your first one. So you are asked the question, does this table represent a linear or nonlinear function? And be able to explain why or why not you picked linear or nonlinear. My hint is, is there a constant rate of change? Pause. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So let's see how we did. X is increasing by 3, as Y is decreasing by 8. So this table represents a linear function, since as X increases by 3, Y decreases by 8, that tells us that we have the rate of change being constant. The slope of this line would be negative 8 over 3 negative 8 thirds. So this is a linear function seeing as it has a constant rate of change. Now let's try one with a graph. Does this graph represent a linear or nonlinear function and be able to explain? Pause. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So since this graph is not a line, there's a curve to it, it's nonlinear. You will actually learn later on that this is a cubic function. Your turn again. Does this table represent a linear or nonlinear function and explain? 
pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's check for a constant rate of change. So I notice that as x is increasing by 2, y is increasing by varying amounts, plus 9, plus 22, plus 55. Therefore, this table represents a nonlinear function because as x is increasing by 2, y increases by varying amounts, so our rate of change is not constant. So if you graphed this, the graph of the, this table of values would not be a line. Your turn. Does the graph represent a linear or nonlinear function? Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So this graph is a line, so it's a linear function. Now we're going to talk about identifying a function from an equation. So which one of these represents a nonlinear function? I would like you to take a guess. So write down your guess and let's check your work. So A is linear. This is the equation of a horizontal line. So it would be have a y-intercept of 4.7 and a slope of 0, and it's a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at 4.7. So it is a line. This is linear. B, this is linear. It's written in the form y equals mx plus b. Don't let the symbol pi distract you. Pi represents a value. It's just a non-terminating value, but it's still a number. So this is y equals m, the slope is pi, and the y-intercept is zero. So it's a line. C, we're going to leave for a minute, go on to d. d is linear because if I distribute the 4, I get the equation y equals 4x minus 4, which is in slope-intercept form. Therefore, this is the equation of a line. So C is the odd man out. This is nonlinear. It cannot be written in slope intercept form because x is in the denominator. Okay, so just keep that in mind that x, this actually has an exponent of negative 1. Okay, so if it's something other than out of the ordinary from what we've been learning with slope intercept form, then it's nonlinear. Your turn. Pause and come back and check your work. Welcome back. Let's check for a constant rate of change. So x is increasing by 7 as y is decreasing by 5. Therefore, this table represents a linear function. Your turn. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. So this equation is a linear function because it's written in slope-intercept form. I have a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 5. Your turn. Pause. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. This graph represents a nonlinear function. The graph is not a line. Don't be fooled. There is a change in direction. So even though we have two rays here, this is actually an absolute value function that you'll learn about in Algebra 1, making it nonlinear. So if it's going to be linear, it has to continue in a straight line. It cannot have bends or curves in it. Your turn. Pause. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So this is a linear function. Because our slope is 5 over 7, remember 5 sevenths x is the same as 5x over 7, so we have a slope of 5 sevenths and a y-intercept of 0. Your turn. Hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. This, we're going to look for a constant rate of change, so as x is increasing by 2, y is decreasing by 4, so therefore we have a constant rate of change, making this a linear function. Your turn. Pause, come back and check your work when you're ready. Welcome back. 
So this is a nonlinear function. The variable x has an exponent of 2. Therefore, it is a nonlinear function. You will learn that this is the graph of a quadratic function, and it will be u-shaped. There will be a curve to it. There you have it. That's our lesson on linear or nonlinear functions. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up or a like if you enjoyed the lesson. Come back and see future lessons.